It is bright AF. It is the middle of the day. Here we go. <laughs> AF, uh, standing for autofocus, of course. Hey there, it's Board Game Dave. Welcome to another Solo Play Sunday. Today, I'll be soloing a game called Splendor. This is a phenomenal family weight game, easily the most played game that I own, and I highly recommend that you add it to your collection if you don't own this game already. Splendor typically plays from two to four players, but I've been using the solo variant designed by Marius van der Merve over at Board Game Geek. I'll have a link to that variant in the description down below. Before we begin, I thought you should know that Solo Play Sundays are for charity. At the end of today's playthrough, I'll donate double my score to a charity. The charity for this week is the National Center for Victims of Crime. I'll talk more about NCVC at the end of the video, but if you have a recommendation for a charity I should check out or a game I could play for the next Solo Play Sunday, please let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, and here we are all set up for our solo playthrough. Uh, setup is very straightforward. I've got three of each colored gem instead of four, and I've got all five gold tokens. I've got three nobles over here, and my turns are exactly the same as in the regular game with one small exception. I'm never allowed to take two of the same colored gem. Uh, that's not allowed. But other than that, my turns are exactly the same. On the AI's turn, and I like to let the AI start, it's going to start by first looking at this level three row, right? And from left to right, it's going to take the first card that it can purchase uh, considering its tableau and any gold tokens that it has. If it can't take any level three cards, it comes down to the level two row. And again, from left to right, it looks for cards it can purchase with its tableau and gold tokens. If it can't purchase a level two card, then it rolls a regular six sided die. If it's a one to four, it's going to take the corresponding card so a four would be this card okay it adds it to its tableau and its turn is over if it rolls a five or a six it instead gains a gold token and that is it ai is going to get nobles just like i do um and we're just trying to score uh as many points as we can as soon as the player gets to 15 or more that's the last round uh ai and i both get the same number of turns and then uh, highest point wins, highest score wins. And of course, uh, if there's a tie, the player with the fewest cards in their tableau wins. So that's all you need to know. I think we're already ready to start. So uh, again, I like to let the AI start and we're going to roll the die. Obviously it can't take a level three or a level two cards. So, whoops. It's got a three, fantastic. We'll add that to its tableau. So the AI already has one point. Yikes, uh, quite a strong start right there. Now. Before I do anything, I like to look at the nobles first, and we know that white cards are going to be very valuable, followed by the black cards, then red and blue. So if I ever have a choice, uh, I'm going to be focusing on getting those white cards. So that's the only one, uh, you know, in the realm of possibility right now that I could work toward. I'll keep an eye on those up there as well. But right now, maybe I just need to look for cheap cards that I can get. So. Uh, we know that red ones are good and black ones are good. That one costs five though, so maybe I'll work on one of these two. I'll go white, sorry, red, green, and white. And I'll put my chips here. Hopefully that'll be clear. All right, back to the AI. Can it take a level three or level two card? Of course it can. So the first couple turns, or first several turns, the AI is just gonna be rolling and taking cards. Very straightforward. All right, so rolled a two, took the second card. And it's back to me now that's a cheap card i like that so why don't i take a blue and a red and that cheap card's gone so a blue and a red and hmm i could keep working on some green for that one sure does that work yeah green and red and blue and i'll leave my chips like this so you can see how many i have of each hopefully all right let's roll I've got a three. It's taking this one right there. No gold tokens so far. Remember, fives and sixes will give it a gold token. All right. That's cool. Uh, not bad, but I think I'll go ahead and pull the trigger on this one. It's nice and cheap. It's one I can afford. Although maybe I'll do one more gem taking turn and work on that one. Although green doesn't line up with any of these. So let's do that. Sure. White, blue, green, red. One, two, three, four. First card in my tableau. I'll put that right over here. And we flip. Okay. We roll for the AI. A one. So it's taking that cheap green card that I wanted. It happens. Let's put that right there. I'll put that off the side. Okay. And flip another card. All right. These cards are getting expensive. I don't like it. This is one I've been kind of eyeing up though. So a green and a red and a black gets me a little bit closer to that one. I'd love to get a white card. Of course, white cards are very advantageous right now. 
For the AI, it rolls a six. Okay, so it's first gold token. There you are. Now that opens up, as you can imagine, a lot of possibilities because this is a wild color. So um, it can do a lot of things out here on taking some of those cards. All right, back to me. Let's see, I'm one green away from getting that, so that's certainly my goal right now. Uh, this looks okay too. Of course, that'd be a permanent green. That's something I could think about. I would need a white and a blue, and I'd be spending some of these other gems that I need, but maybe it's worth investing in that before I head up there. That might not be a bad idea, and I think I will grab, oh, how about another black? Like so, okay. AI can still not take any of these. These three are all very expensive, very out of reach for the AI. That's the one that it's getting somewhat close to. There's a two. Oh man, took a white. I wanna stop that from happening as much as I can. Okay. And we are looking at, of course, was it this one? Yes. So white and blue and red and only one black since I've got that black one right there. One, two, three, four. Pretty expensive, but I'm hoping that that will pan out and be a, a good investment in the long run. So, back to the AI, we're rolling again. I see a four, that's the red one. Another point for the AI, wow, it's snatching up those point cards. I don't like that. I know this is a little bit confusing, hopefully that, you know, this is the AI's tableau. I, you probably keep that straight, I'm sure. That looks amazing, all I need is one red. Let's do that, red, and I also want to work on, I've got my green covered, I should get a black, and red and black, and that looks pretty good too, why don't I work on getting a white, okay? All right, back to you, rolls the die, and it's a one, another black. Boy, it's gonna be getting up to that uh, card in no time, it seems like. All right, four black for one point and a green, and I am sort of working on this green strategy. That's something I'm very close to getting, and I could buy that one, which would help me get that one, and then work on that one. That's what I'm gonna be doing. So, I need a white, I'll get a green, just to have a couple extra green maybe, and I need a black as well. So I'm just gonna go all in on this black-green strategy, and I've got Exactly 10 gems, so so far I'm safe. Oh, I want that too. <laughs> I forgot about that one. My goodness gracious. Is there a card the AI can get? Not yet, almost. One more gold token and it can take that. Okay. Oh no, a four, wow. This AI is rolling extremely uh, well. Very lucky over there, man. Yikes. The AI getting all these white cards makes it very hard for me to get some of these, I think. And it's already getting very close to that card right there. Ay, 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 ay. And of course, that was the one I was going for. Now I lost that card I was meaning to get now. So what are we going to do instead? That one's looking okay. Uh, I can still work on this, this, this. Although I really want that too. Of course, I'm at 10 gems though, so I could, I could take more gems, but I have to put some back. So... I don't want to do that. I think I'll just stick with this. So two white and one green, like so. Gets me that card. And we're flipping, okay. AI still can't buy any of these uh, cards, it seems. Nope, so we're rolling again. There's a four, wow. Oh my gosh, no way, this is terrible. Wow, this AI is just gobbling up all these diamonds. This is really, really unlucky for us. Boy, I mean, not only does it get it very close to getting these nobles, but it's also snatching up all these diamonds that I would be wanting to get. So I might need to just bail on the whole noble strategy and just focus on getting points because this is not looking like I'm going to be getting a lot of these. Uh, of course, one more red card for the AI and it gets those three points. So, oh heavens. Well, why don't we work on this? I'll spend two of my black gems to get that and my first point so it is currently two to one I'm a little bit behind but only by one point all right we're back still can't get any cards so we're rolling again there's a two a blue sure all right and I have this I should probably just nab it now or well I suppose there's no rush Here's something I like to do is just cover my bases in case a very cheap card comes up. Like even that one's not bad. Um, all I need is a white and a blue. So I think I'll take that, a white and a blue, and I know I'm spending all my red in a second, so I'll go ahead and 
take that, although I'll get a red if I buy this. Hmm. Sure, I'll stick with it. So one, two, three, I'm at eight gems. <clears throat> and I still can't get anything. It's taking a lot of cards, but it's not getting those golds that it needs to, uh, to get, you know, a card like this, for example. And a one, another red. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how quickly it's gotten a noble. It's got three white, three red, three black cards, of course, which means it adds this noble to its tableau. My goodness gracious, five points for the AI. That has happened so fast. Now, I've got eight gems. I could take, you know, three gems, put one back, down to ten. I'm eyeing up that one right there. I like the look of it, but do I need to be doing that right now? Not really. Maybe I need to focus on, again, working my way up toward those higher tier cards. Although, if I want to get something like this, having that permanent red is probably not a bad idea. But I also don't like the idea of wasting, uh, you know, uh, a turn basically by uh, taking only two gems instead of three, essentially. Whew, okay. Well, I like that though. It's so very cheap. I'm gonna do it. I, this is not a standard move for me, but I, I like it so much. I'm gonna take this. And why don't we keep kind of going this green route? I like the look of that one as well. So green and a blue, and I could take another one, but of course I'd have to put it back anyway. So there we go. I'm at 10. Not my normal strategy, but I think that's okay. Still, AI cannot take any of these level two cards. So we're rolling again, and that looks like a six. So now it's gonna be able to take this on its next turn. So now I certainly should be pulling the trigger on that card. I've been stalling for a little too long. There's three green, here's two red, and I need to spend no black to get this diamond. So there we go. I'm one step closer to one of these nobles, but not very close. All right, the AI's turn. Now, that is a card that it can get. So one, two, three red, plus the two gold, makes it five red, and it's got the three black. So. Yet again, another diamond, and look at this. It's actually one uh, black gem away from another noble. This is crazy. Oh my word. This is my second play of this game today, and I tell you what, the first game went much better. I actually won uh, against this medium difficulty. By the way, there's an easy difficulty where only I can do the nobles, and there's a hard difficulty where only the AI can get the nobles. So we're right in the middle on medium difficulty, so. That is one that the AI could get very soon, but these are all very expensive actually, so maybe that'll bide me some time while I get some other cards. Two blue, one white, sorry, one green. That looks promising. I like the look of it. It's very, very cheap. <clears throat> Let's take it. Two blue, and here we go. And back to the AI, who I believe has to roll, yep. A five. Oh boy, we don't want that. We don't want it getting more gold. Yep, so it's got that. Now, I could reserve that, I suppose. Um, why would that be good? It would just buy me more time, but honestly, uh, depriving it from those two points, that might not be a bad move. Um, yeah, I think I'm desperate enough. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll just spend my turn taking this and reserving it. Uh, of course, that gives me a gold. I'll put that over here, like so and I can buy that at a later date. All right, back to the AI. Cannot take that uh, card without another gem, so I'm okay, I'm safe. And we're rolling, it looks like a five. Oh, well, there it is, the gold. I'm telling you what, you could, I could not be rolling better for this AI. I've been giving it everything at once, every single turn. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so it's gonna take that next turn. There's really not too much I can do about that <clears throat> at this point, so. These two look doable. I've got, what, five gems. Why don't I get a green and a black? <clears throat> and maybe, oh, how about a red? Maybe I'll work on maybe these three here. So red and black and green. Just as a quick reminder, keep in mind, I cannot take two of the same color at all during this game. So uh, with that reminder said, it can take this card right here. It can't take this or any of those other ones, but it can take that. So one gold is blue, one gold is green, and it's got the three red, so that's going there. Okay, still hasn't gotten another noble, but it is at eight points. Oh, another one, oh my gosh. Jeez, boy, I, hmm. Maybe I should've been taking diamonds with this in mind. Now I'm 
Starting to regret that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, let me think here. I've got, I could buy this right now with my six green. I've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, I certainly need to be spending these gems at this point. So I'll go ahead and spend one, two, three, four, four greens like this with the gold. Five, six, that'll get me this card. So now I'm at five points to the AI's eight. All right, there's one that's pretty within reach for the AI. Can't take that yet. Again, we were looking for some golds for the AI. No, that time it was a green. So green for you. And it's back to me. Let's see. Ooh, that's almost a freebie for me, but what's blue gonna do for me at this point? Not a lot. I need to focus on getting this and or this. So why don't I take a white and again, I'm still sort of eyeing these up, although that's looking pretty good too. Actually, I have that right now. Hmm, that's nice, I like it. And it's keeping a blue potentially away from the AI. Hmm, you know what? I, I like that, that's, well, but that makes me spend a white, which I really would like to focus on getting this one and potentially this one, so. Maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe just focus on getting this and this and this, uh, potentially. So one, two, three. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. I have to spend these at some point because that's eight gems I already have. So we'll just have to see. Rolling for the AI. And it's got a three, another green. Okay, that's certainly better than a gold token at this point, so I don't mind that at all. Do I need blue? I don't think I need blue. Again, I've got eight gems. I think at this point, I probably need to just start spending some of them. So I think it'll be this, even though I don't really want that blue. <clears throat> yeah, I think I have to. So there's a white, I've got the red, and I need to spend two of these black to make four, like so. And that's got me up to seven points. Okay, feeling a little bit better. Please, not something that I can get. Uh-oh. No, not quite, it doesn't have that third blue, so it looks like we're still rolling. All right, and a three, well, there's the blue. <laughs> I'm telling you, maybe I'm just jinxing myself, I probably just need to stop saying what the AI needs, because this die is hearing every word. This is my Kapana metal die, by the way, of course, I love this dice set by Kapana, but I have a whole video about that you can watch. So, where were we? Uh, it rolled, and it got a blue, and that came out. Now that's a freebie for me, but how's that gonna help me getting a black? Well, it could potentially help me with that, but you know, I think I need to focus on the higher levels at this point. I think we're further in this game than I than I think. Uh, I think the end is coming quicker than I, than I wanted to. So, I'm two away from the red. That's certainly doable, but you know what? There's no more here. That's not good. My goodness, my goodness. Okay, so that's a bit of an issue here. Um, I would need to get, what, two golds, and I don't want to reserve two cards, do I? Not really. Huh. This is looking sort of doable, but I'd have to really pull off the right gem combination for that. Uh, five. Well, you know what? I think it's maybe sort of doable if I take a blue. Yeah, I'd still need to reserve something, though. Yeah, I, I can't get to five without reserving. Boy, I'm in a I'm in a bind, everybody. This is this is a pickle. Maybe I need to start buying some of this stuff, huh? Or I could reserve that so the AI doesn't get it, and then maybe buy that later. Gosh, I don't know. I, I think I'm just super on defense already, but I'll go ahead and try that. I'll take that. I'll reserve that gold. I think will come in handy later, though. So, and here we go. And now, oh my goodness, look at all these sixes. That's great. Six, 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 seven, seven, seven. That's awesome. So two. Yeah, that's biting me a whole bunch of times. So the AI got off to a really fast start, but I think that's gonna turn it down a little bit. It's pacing. Okay, so what have I been trying to do? I need white, I need red. So I'm gonna work on getting this card just to help me get toward maybe this one and especially this one, okay? Uh, let's see, so I want a blue. And I suppose I need to work on white, of course. Blue and white, and why don't I go ahead and work on maybe getting some of this black, or 
Should I stock up on red since I'm going to be spending some? Uh, black, white, and... Sorry. What did I say? Blue, white, and... Oh, I can't take red, so there's a black. Okay. And back to the AI, who's rolling again. Two. Okay. Another black. Uh-oh. I see another noble. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So here comes another one yet again. We're at... Let's see. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. Of course, I and mean, fifteen triggers the uh, last round. So, eleven over there. I've got seven over here. Boy, we're in some sort of crisis mode. I think I'm planning for a much longer game than it's actually going to be. So, what do I need to do? I need to start getting some of these cards. I could buy this, but I hate to spend my gold, and I don't want to spend my red. So, let's buy this one instead. It's two blue. I've got the greens. I've got the black covered. So there is a permanent white for me. There we go. Back to the AI. Still can't buy anything. It just has to keep rolling. There's a six. Uh-oh. A gold token. Still can't buy anything, I don't think. No, it can't, but it's getting a little closer. Back to me, I've got, let's see, eight gems. I could take two, uh, you know, uh, right now. Let's see. How would that help me? Well, Taking another white could get me closer to that using the gold. So that's doable. Um, and I could also maybe take a blue while I'm at it. Sure, I'll take a white and a blue. Once again, I could take a third gem, but no need. I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. So that's what I'll do. Back to the AI who can't take any of these cards. And we roll a one. Okay, another blue. Oh, you are kidding me. I cannot believe the way that this has worked. Oh my gosh, another noble. This is absolute insanity. That's 14 points for the AI. This is not standard at all. I hope you can see that this is not typically how this game would go, but that's just, just unbelievable. And I'm over here with my seven points, just scrounging for points desperately well. Why don't I go for this that can help me get this? I think that's what I need to be doing right now. So, uh, yes, I'm at 10, so I can't really, you know, hoard any more gems. Let's go for it. I'll do this. Spend one, two, three, four, and I've got the five, six. Oops. There we go. So at least that gets me to what? 10? All right, I'm in double digits, so uh, this won't be as uh, much of a defeating blow if I lose here. Back to the AI who sees a card it can get. Yes, there it goes, and it has reached its threshold there. It's at 16 points. Yep, 16 points, which means I get one last turn. I'm at 10. I would need a five-point card, which there isn't one out there. So uh, to save face, what could I do? I think the most I could get is probably... Oh, gosh, I can't even do either of these. Looks like maybe there's a one pointer I can do. Sure, I could get this one for one point. So, three and two blue and two green. Wow, so that was quite a catastrophic defeat there. We've got uh, 16 points for the AI. We've got just 11 points for me. A lot of weird things happened there. Not a standard game. These sixes coming out let the AI, instead of you know getting level two cards, it just kept stocking up and stocking up on these level one cards, which allowed it to get these nobles that otherwise I think it would have had a pretty hard time doing. So instead of getting points with the cards, it just went heavy on these nobles and uh, you know, worked out really well for the AI, and I wasn't even close to being in competition for these nobles. I mean, maybe two more reds, but that was the one that got first in the game. So that was extremely, uh, again, the rolls and everything, just everything favored the AI, and of course, there's a luck factor. So, you know, um, I'm sure I didn't play as well as I could have, but there you go, 16 to 11. And that was a rough game of Splendor Solo. Thank you to Marius for the wonderful solo variant. With a score of just 11, we're gonna double that and send $22 to the National Center for Victims of Crime. NCVC is a nonprofit that's been around for over 35 years, whose mission is to forge a national commitment to help victims of crime rebuild their lives by serving individuals, families, and communities harmed by crime. You can find out more about the National Center for Victims of Crime in the description down below. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope Hope you have a wonderful week. Take care and happy gaming. Bye.
Look at you. Okay. You got it. I know you like the bag, but you can't get stuck in it. Okay. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, go play. Goodbye.